All right. So thanks, everybody, for being here, especially Secretary of State and our President and Vice President. So I will basically focus the presentation on the Spain participation in Big Boss. Um, so let me start by um, saying that the Nobel Prize uh, in 2011 was given uh, to these uh, three colleagues, uh, Sol Perlmutter at Berkeley Lab, uh, Brian Smith in Australia, and Adam Reitz at the Hubble Space Telescope for discovering the uh, accelerated expansion of the universe through the observations of distant supernova. This was a big achievement, and that's basically the reason why possibly we are all here, because it, tri it triggers a lot of, of the experiments that we are discussing now. Uh, so I want to make a remark, and uh, in especially in, in the paper by Per Mutter, uh, uh, a lot of the observations uh, uh, were done at La Palma. And I want to really make uh, the point that our observatories already contributed to the discovery of this uh, big uh, uh, physics uh, uh, hit. And so they acknowledge uh, the contributions of their uh, observatories, and also there are some Spanish co-authors in the paper that gave the, the Nobel Prize. Uh, so uh, the physics of the universe, understanding uh, scientific principles, uh, in, so that energy is one of the most uh, important questions, not only for physics, but also for, for science. And there are two high-level questions that we have to address um, in the next decade is either whether um, the cosmic acceleration is caused by general relativity or there is a breakdown of GR on cosmological scale. So that is caused by this dark energy, that's mysterious dark energy that we don't know is nature. Uh, so we want to understand uh, the reason of the acceleration, um, if that dark energy is constant uh, in time or evolves or it also changes in space. So we joined to the Big Boss uh, project in uh, early 2010. So we got invitation uh, from, the uh, from the Berkeley lab. And that was thanks to the developments that we did together with David for the Spanish GTC telescope, uh, together with the company AVS, where we, we started to develop these robot fiber positioners. So uh, the, the, this is the schedule uh, of the project since we started. So the Spain contribution uh, was uh, very important to, to help in the review made at Berkeley in December 2011. That review was done by the Department of Energy and contributed to, to the approval of the project. So we did a lot of work in the design and also prototyping of the, of the fiber positioner that you will all have an opportunity to see in the, in the next room, just outside to the left and also to the focal plate uh, design. So uh, we are now in the phase of uh, final design review, which is coming in autumn, I guess. And construction is expected for early 2014. So the first light of the project uh, is foreseen in 2018. Uh, so in Big Boss, there are key international partners. Uh, we have China and Spain uh, working on these fiber robot positioners. Uh, we also have France providing the spectrographs, uh, Spain on, uh, working on the focal plate, and the UK uh, working on optics and fibers. And I should have put here the Switzerland, uh, which is also um, uh, helping on the uh, aspects of the mechatronics of the positioners. So uh, this is the Big Boss collaboration. This is one of the meetings that we had at Berkeley at the December 2011 review, I guess. Uh, and there are a lot of US members um, and, and key international institutions, and in particular, the Spain Participation Group. And you can see a picture of people. And we have here in the middle, George Edmund, uh, which is a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, 2006 for the discovery of the anisotropies of the CMB and Sol Perlmutter, which couldn't be in the picture because it was receiving the Nobel Prize in, at that time, in that week. So, um, so the, the, the consortium, well, the participation group, let's put it that way, in Spain, is led by the Campus of Excellence here in the Autonoma and CSIC, and where we have uh, the Institute for Theoretical Physics, 
uh, uh, we have the engineering school and the Department for Theoretical Physics. I put uh, down the names of the people who are the contact persons and, and helping us to move on with all their contributions and, and developments. Uh, we have the Institute of, of Astrophysics uh, of Andalusia in Granada, uh, the Institute of Astrophysics in the Canary Islands, the Institute of uh, uh, Cosmic Science in Barcelona, and the Observatory uh, uh, in the University of Valencia. So we are a bunch of, of institutions with a lot of experience in cosmology and in particular uh, cosmology for large surveys. Uh, so how can we optimize the return to our society uh, of our investment into science? This is a key issue that we always have in mind when we develop the project. We, we should not forget that. And this is always what we tell our engineers, our students, postdocs, and our colleagues. So this is a few sentences <laughs> taken from the presentation that Jordi will give this afternoon on the impact and benefit to Spanish physics and astronomy that Big Boss can have. But it's very, impo very important to understand from pre previous experience that we have already working together with David and others in this big project that these huge uh, efforts drive uh, excellence in scientific research. Uh, they train students and young, research young researchers to be innovative, broad, and independent, and very important and competitive. And also, uh, it provides excellence and technological transfer to industry, and it has a big benefit to education. So I think this is, should be the main driver, and it is the main driver of our project. So Spain has been involved since the last three years in uh, two systems, in particular, as we saw before, in the focal plate and the fiber positioners, the robot fiber positioners. And you can see here down a picture of the robot that has been built, and you will see uh, later in the closed room. So this is the layout of the optics of the telescope. So the light will come from the stars or galaxies, will be reflected in the primary mirror, and then will be focused uh, we'll go through the corrector optics, and finally, we will pick up uh, the light from each object through the optical fibers being positioned by the, the robot. Uh, so this is basically the idea, as which you have seen. We have to map the whole universe. We have to take a spectra of each individual point, each individual galaxy. Uh, different colors represent different type of objects, different physics, uh, different uh, chemistry properties. So the function of the robot, uh, the 5,000 of them at the time, will be to be positioned uh, in, in the expected place where you have uh, a galaxy target. This is a layout of 19 of those robots, as you can see in the mock image. And this is a representation where each uh, robot is moving a fiber. And the main goal of the, of, the, of the robot will be to place the fiber in top of the position where you expect to, s to see light from a galaxy. So this is uh, a movie that I, I will go quick if I'm able to run it. Uh, uh, I hope. Yeah, it should be running. Where you can see uh, basically how these robots are moving uh, together to be placed into each galaxy position. So, so you have 19 robots here. And the uh, yellow points, the yellow circles, marks the final target position for each robot. You have to uh, be patient and wait for one minute to allow all robots to work together and be sure that there are no collisions, there, there's, there's no problems between them, so that each arrives safely to the desired uh, uh, target positions, which are the the, the uh, yellow circles. So some of the robots don't do anything because they have to wait for the others, especially in situations like this, where you have three objects, and, and then you might have a conflict. So that robot is waiting for the other one to, be, to reach the position, and then the, everyone else will move to arrive on place. So how we do that? Well. Regarding the focal plate, we have been working closely uh, with ABS and, and also H HTS to build a prototype of the focal plate. The focal plate will have a size of one meter diameter, most, almost, 
but now we need to do a prototype which has been already designed and is in place to be built and tested in, in, uh, in Tenerife in the facilities of the IEC uh, and the prototype will be 20 millimeters, not much, uh, but it will have 241 holes and the uh, to requirements, uh, tolerance and precisions are really, really tight. So this is very high tech where there are only very, very few companies uh, in Europe that can, can do this. So we, we want to start up this construction of the prototype and to learn and to give feedback for the final design of the full focal plate. Uh, regarding the robot, this has been built in collaboration with ABS and the SEDETI provided uh, uh, funding and helped us also the national program for astronomy. And this is 10 millimeter diameter, so it's like a pencil and uh, the accuracy of the robot is about five microns and, and so you will see a demonstration at the coffee break or later during the day uh, in the closed room. Also we had a lot of uh, development in the electronics and software here on campus. Uh, uh, the, the people in the engineering school helped us to, to design these electronics which have to move the motors, have to control the system. So the situation now is that uh, the first res results are excellent within specific specifications and the prototype is ready for full characterization. And now actually we are traveling to Berkeley, uh, probably middle of March, to do the final measurements to be presented uh, at the Shanghai meeting um, at, at the end of March. Uh, so, but Big Boss is not only providing a lot of data uh, 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 for the galaxies, for the objects that we take, but also uh, for that you need a grand challenge computer simulations, uh, cosmological simulations, uh, that needs uh, all these uh, facilities, uh, praise uh, in the European Union, and we are making a lot of use of that, the Mare Nostrum, here in Spain and the super MOOC in Munich, so all of them. We need a lot of computer time to make these huge volumes, right? And we also build databases, so that, that's a whole industry here, and we, we already are making a lot of this effort. But we need also the help of the theoreticians. This is very important. So uh, science now, or astronomy, or physics, is not about distinguish between experimentalists, phenomenologists, uh, theoreticians. For me, you need everybody on board. Everybody is important. And uh, normally, in our meetings for BOSS, or Sloan, or Big BOSS, you find in a room all sort of uh, species, let's put it that way, <laughs> from engineers to theoreticians to observers to astronomers. So, so there are a lot of physics uh, theoretical aspects uh, which at the end uh, uh, are really very, very important uh, as, as understanding uh, or providing a fundamental theory for cosmic acceleration. And we should not forget about the R&D and innovation. So this is uh, crucial and it's already obvious by, by all the work we are doing. And, and of course we need the support from our agencies and, and finally um, I want to end up with these conclusions uh, that it's basically the scientific impact that we expect from Big Boss. Uh, Big Boss is, ba is based already in a long tradition that started with the success of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey where at that time David and I and others were basically postdocs uh, starting uh, and actually you can see here in this table uh, the scientific impact of different facilities and uh, you can see that the Sloan Digital Sky Survey which is a similar sort of uh, instrument dedicated telescope as David uh, described before a survey telescope has the, the highest scientific impact uh, as compared to other telescope facilities so in summary, uh, uh, the ratio of the scientific impact to the invested budget we believe is significantly higher as compared to other uh, facilities and, and uh, cosmology nowadays is a very active and dynamic field uh, in the world and I will stop here. Thank you.